Hey, everybody in here. Yeah, I had coffee a while ago. Um, this is filmed, well, it was filmed yesterday. You're watching it today, but um, I went into town to do some mystery shopping. Got a lot of mystery shopping done, and I'm kind of digging it. I will do a video on how to do it, and you're not going to make a lot of money, but, um, you know, pocket chains here and there, and that's all I need because I don't have a lot of expenses. I just need enough to get by. I don't need expensive things. I don't need a lot of clothes. So uh, it's working out for me. I haven't started door dashing yet, but that's that's coming. Um, <laughs> I got a puppy on my lap and he's just being so good. Anyhow, when I went into town, I found something amazing. So I'm I'm driving into town and I'm looking and there's down trees all in my like the woods not my woods just woods everywhere lots of trees and I found something interesting on well one of them and before I go any further I need to make a correction yesterday's video I said that um, Donna sent me two packages uh, the Christmas tree um, and with the lights and everything but it was Grandma Net. Jeanette P., who sent me the beautiful card. You know what? I recognize the card, and I'm like, whoa, it's so weird. I, now Donna's making these kinds of cards. Well, I read it. It was dark, and I, I didn't read it closely enough. Um, the card was from Grandma Nett. The gift cards were from Grandma Nett. The biscotti. Oh, my gosh. I'm like, Donna, I didn't know you made biscotti, but it's from Jeanette P., Grandma Ned, um, she sent me some uh, biscotti before, and oh gosh, it it is the most delicious thing ever. You know what? After out of all of those packs you sent, I've got three left. <laughs> it's a good thing that you separated them into separate packs because I would have just sat there and just kept eating them because they're just so delicious. And I had some for breakfast. So, sorry for the error. I really apologize. That was stupid. Um, I'm just so grateful, and I'm just so excited, and I'm kind of stressed. I've been very stressed and anxious lately, but that's all starting to calm down. I have got to be the craziest woman in the whole world. I am out here on the side of the road. I'm driving into town, and I see a bunch of down trees everywhere in the woods, but this one caught my eye. Look at that. It is filled with oyster mushrooms. I don't know if I can get to them. Oh my gosh, I would so love to get to them. I'm down here, <laughs> and they're all the way up there. Oh my gosh, what a grand harvest. There is no way, <laughs> no way, aside from climb, climbing up on this tree to get to them, because I can't. I mean, oh my gosh, though. So. Would you just look at the beauty of that? Oh my gosh, I can't get to the mushrooms. Oh, what a feast. Look at that, you guys. Just look at it. Oh, it breaks my heart. I can't get them. I even tried to climb the tree. I did. Too high. Too dangerous. So, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I get home and I see this. <laughs> they got into my little gardening bag and just tore everything up. Um, the next door neighbors have picked up Sunny's. <laughs> the kids seem happy. Uh, I feel sort of sad. It's kind of weird. Um, but I just got this one now. Papa's out running around, so I got to clean up this mess. Look at this sweet boy. Yep, his brother has gone back home. <laughs> and things seem a little bit calmer. Papa's out running around. My floor's a mess. And I'm just spending some quality time snuggling with this here fellow. I'll tell you what, whoever gets sunny is going to have a good snuggle bug. But already, this one seems calmer. So, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. My neighbors are good dog people. They really, really take good care of their animals. All of them. There's something very calming about a puppy just sleeping. And being calm. Yep, Junior's a good boy. Look at those two boys. Yeah, Papa knows I'm talking about him. <laughs> Both of them. Yeah, they just, they will snuggle together. 
Papa's letting him be up on the bed with him. <laughs> oh, Sonny, you gonna come down too? Nah, he's like, nah, I think I'm just gonna hang out up here, Mom. I like it up here. I like it on Lori Chalk's pretty blankie that she made for you. Oh yes, he's just very, very comfortable. But about those mushrooms, I actually tried to get a stick. I did try and climb up in the tree, but it was just too high and unstable. I felt that I would be making a mistake by trying to crawl, crawl up there. And if the whole thing came down, I mean, I'd be all the way down there and nobody would know that I was down there. Um, but I did grab a stick and I tried to, like, poke some of them off. And they were so well attached and they're fresh mushrooms. So they're, they're really nicely attached to the tree trunk. But, all oh, that broke my heart that I couldn't go up and get them. I could have dehydrated them. I could have fried some up for dinner. But there will be more mushrooms. There will be. So, um, I don't know if today I'm going to go and cut up all that wood. Um, I need to get it done here pretty soon because the temperatures are going to stop dropping again. Anyhow, I'm just so grateful that... Um, we made it through okay, uh, just driving around and seeing all the trees out in the woods that came down, but it doesn't look like anything, you know, no structures were damaged, just probably high winds, you know, that sort of thing. Um, the neighbors say that they were out of electricity, the electricity was out till about 10 a.m. this morning, um, and you know, that doesn't affect me because I have solar, I'm off grid, <laughs> But I do feel for the people who depend on electricity and they didn't have any. Um, so that must have been a kind of a pain. But my heart still just goes out to all of those people. I mean, I, I don't know what the count is up to people who were affected or lost their lives or whatever. But it's just awful. This was, I was watching different reports and... Um, meteorologists were saying this was the worst storm front that they've ever seen um, just with the the coloration of the radar and with the way things were forming and tornadoes touching down and it was very scary I mean it was scary for me I, I try and put myself in other people's shoes I can't imagine how terrified they were just going through all of that and uh, my goodness yeah I, I did want to call my mom I wanted to call my mom. Um, I wanted to call, well, a, another very close friend. Um, <laughs> we had texted a, a, a few times that, that day, um, and she had tried to call me and was very concerned about me. Um, but I thought, you know, if I get somebody on the phone and if something actually does happen and then the last thing they hear is me screaming or the house exploding or whatever – they would have to carry that with them for the rest of their lives. So I didn't call anybody. I just snuggled the puppy, snuggled with Papa. And um, I got to tell you, you guys, it was the most scared I've ever been in my life. I, I just can't think of any other time that I was that scared. And it was pretty scary. Um, the sounds that were coming through. I asked the kids next door if they were scared. And the oldest girl, I call her princess, she said she, said she was scared. And then um, the littlest boy, I can't say his real name. What did I call him? I don't know. I can't remember what I called him. But he's just, <laughs> he's so cool. He, I think he's going to be just like his daddy. He seems interested in doing a lot of the stuff that his dad does. But he says, no, I wasn't scared. <laughs> <laughs> it was so adorable. I'll tell you what, my neighbors, my neighbors got some great kids. They're, they're smart, they're funny, they like to play with each other, and, uh, yeah, so, it, it's kind of cool having, um, you know, awesome kids in the neighborhood. Anyhow, I don't know what else is going to go on here today. Um, really, I just want to relax. Uh, it's kind of chilly. It's not super cold, but it's kind of chilly. I think I'm going to go wrangle Papa, make something nice to eat, and then maybe just chill out for the rest of the day. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.